The first car of this video is Iveltal from Paradox Rift. This car looks amazing, it has a beautiful and dark design, and it is one of the best illustration rares of the whole set, topped by Groden of course. It is currently going for about $16 in a near mint conditions, and let me tell you, I think that's a bargain. Oh my god, not again! The fact that Paradox Rift has been underappreciated and undervalued until now has probably affected the price of this card, and I can see it rising when the booster box itself becomes scarcer and expensive. Hello people from the world, hope you enjoyed the intros, I'm trying to do my best with the editing and try to make it as fun as possible, even though I don't really appear to be funny or entertaining on the internet and in uh, real life. But that's a topic for another day. Now before we get started, as usual, it's not an attack to the person or I want, I want my intent is to offend or insult anyone. What I, I wouldn't say attack, but what I criticize are the opinions expressed, which their opinion. Uh, and even though I don't know, I don't, I don't remember, I don't recall if it was stated that are just opinion. What is important is uh, that one that out of the way. I couldn't care less who said what. All I care is what has been said. Now, what my mind struggles to comprehend is how you can call a card that has more than double in three months undervalued, and not only that, quoting a Bergen. Now, I, I thought about it, and the only conclusion, the only logical conclusion I could come up with um, is, you know, the thinking must have been something like oh, Evolving Skies, right? If, we, if we're talking Pokemon, Evolving Skies, 150 to 300, it doubled. You can still see it undervalued. It would have played out, right? If you thought uh, Evolving Skies at 300 was undervalued, you would have guessed, right? So... That's my thinking. You know, if we think about uh, outside of Pokemon, we can think about Nvidia, which is what everyone's talking about these days. A 10x in uh, about two years, um, so that's you know a phenomenal gain. Uh, but you know, we're obviously cherry picking, and uh, we are talking about you know some sort of events that are, if they're ever going to repeat themselves in the future, which is possible. They're going to be so rare, most of the people are going to miss out on, right? Uh, and that's also where all the alpha generates, because blah, 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 blah. Let's not go into it. Uh, let's stick to Pokemon. Now, oh God, will you shut the fuck up? that's the only argument in favor of uh, such claim that I could come up with. Now, what I want to do is I want to show you some data, as well as tell you my personal story with Evil Tals, because I have one. And my personal story pretty much... Uh, it's confirmed by data. And then I want to briefly touch on uh, one thing you mentioned about the correlation between the price and the booster box price, which um, I'm quite confused on. Now, data. So if you see me looking right there, it's because I'm looking at the chart you're looking at. And uh, one thing I haven't really seen people paid as much attention um, on YouTube. And I think it's something that it's really cool. I have a similar tool uh, which I had to develop myself for the European market that is available in the Discord, absolutely free. Anyways, I'm obviously talking about sales volume. Uh, that is a, such a powerful tool that if you know how to use it, or at least you think you do, can be of so much help. Now, it's not going to uh, make you a millionaire, but it can be of such help in reading the price. Now. What you're looking at here, obviously, is the yearly chart for Evil Tall. It's easy to see that it was, let's say, trading, so selling and buying, trading, at uh, just above five dollars for uh, several months, uh, two three months, right from uh, what December till April, four months maybe, um, and then it spiked. Now, the interesting bit is look at sales volume over that period of time that is amongst the highest and most consistent sales volume you had over the past year which is the the time span the card has been alive right because the site came out in november of 2023 now what you see happening over the last two or three months is a decline in sales volume and that comes with a corresponding decline in price. How is that so? Now, 
I'll give you my personal experience as well as trying to, you know, give you an educated guess on why is that. So um, now I bought 12 Ilvatals. I will leave you the proofs. Uh, it's everything is recorded. I will make a video about um, not only that, but more than that, uh, all my transaction, uh, successful transaction. All of them were successful. I'm here to tell you right now, we don't care. Let me tell you. <laughs> and I bought them at a bit over five euros shipped. I bought 12 of them and I sold my final copies uh, last week. I bought 12. I was able to sell 12 and I was able to double my money after shipping fees, blah, blah, blah. I doubled my money. Now, I'm one of those who sold at the highs. Why? Because I bought at the bottom. Now, I sold to someone. This is not what is referred to as a zero-sum game. If you don't know what that means, a zero-sum game is kind of like a, a casino. In a casino, someone when someone wins, someone else loses. Uh, that's a zero-sum game. This market is not a zero-sum game. If someone makes money, it does not mean someone else is losing money. So what I'm saying is I sold to someone. The buyers right now, so to that person suggesting it's a good buy right now, those buyers were my liquidity. So right now you need to find someone that is going to be willing to pay more than what you paid in order to make a profit. Are you going to find someone willing to pay 20 Dollars. Now, that's when volume plays a big role. Right now, you struggle to find people buying at these prices. If you look at the past, people were happy to buy uh, below ten dollars, so in the five to seven dollar range. Right now, sales volume tells you you're struggling to find buyers. It's possible. I'm not saying it's guaranteed. It's possible. The higher going price the less people you're going to be finding willing to buy this card. So basically all this nonsense to say by now you're going to need to find someone who's going to pay more than what you bought for. And uh, you can look at the data. It's, it's starting to become a struggle. Now it doesn't mean that this is not going to change. This could change. As I always say, demand can shift. However, are you willing to take the risk to buy a card? that just two x and uh, you know, especially if you buy on TG player which, which has 13% fees, which are ridiculous. TG player, don't sue me, please. You need this card to at least make, you know, 50% to make it worth, right? And you're gonna be able to find a, a, a good amount of copies to make some money, right? Because I bought 12, I made what, a bit over 50 euros, which is fine uh, because that's all the most number of copies I, I could find. But you know, with this logic, looking at the data, my mind just cannot comprehend how you can be so certain that is an undervalued card and just say it's, you know, I like it, it's beautiful, I think it has potential, it's undervalued. What I'm trying to say is playing the devil's advocate, which is what the channel is all about, trying to be logical, trying to use our brain and ask ourselves, is it really that good to be true? Now, last bit I want to touch on. So I'll play you again the last bit I want to touch on, and then I'll try to make some sense out of it. The fact that Paradox Rift has been underappreciated and undervalued until now has probably affected the price of this card. So the claim, as you heard, is the fact that Paradox Rift has been undervalued has probably affected the price of this card. And once again, my brain thinks the card has just doubled, but the claim is the fact that the box is so cheap has affected the price of a card, meaning that the box is so cheap, the card is so cheap, but it just doubled. So I don't know if I'm going to be able to put out the meme, uh, but my brain just committed suicide. Uh, uh, with all respect, I don't quite understand how that makes sense. Like the box is so cheap, it's affecting the card value or price, I like to say price, not value, but the car price has just doubled. Now, what I think would have made sense and what makes sense, as we're seeing Paradox Rift slightly moving higher, so adjusting, it could be a mix of more demand for the, the just the box itself, as well as, you know, people are starting to realize as these cards go up in price, 
the EV, so the expected value of opening a booster box is, you know, it's moving higher. Hence, the box price needs to move higher because there, there's need to be no arbitrage, right? Usually, uh, you are the closest with the expected value at release. With that, please let me know if you like this format. As I said, my intention is not to insult, offend anyone. What I've been trying to criticize and in what I believe is a constructed manner as I do give my reasonings and what I think are logical, objective reasons is the most constructive wave I can think of. That being said, I'm very glad for those of you who bought my Evotals. Thank you a lot. You made me happier and 50 euros richer. Thanks. And I'll see you in the next one.